Okay, because this was quite a decision, thanks to all the comments, a lot of them were negative, but there were a couple good positive comments on this that uh, persuaded me to go ahead and purchase this product. So uh, one of the comments in particular was a lot of help, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on here to help people out. This is a good bang for the buck, JST XH connectors and this other type. And they wind up making connectors like this. So you can plug them into your little circuit boards and whatnot. It just makes your electronics a lot nicer. Forgive the mess here, but that's kind of what you get when you tinker and leave it behind and tinker a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and crimp one of these connectors together to kind of show you guys um, the, the key to uh, making this thing work pretty much every time. I'm going to break off one of these connectors off of the little strip that's in there. So you got this little U-shaped end right here. Sometimes what works is to pinch that closed just a little bit if they're wide open like that. Before you stick it in the tool, it'll make it a lot easier. So you just kind of pinch it just a pinch, just like that. Probably will work. And it's actually been weeks since I've used this. You want to push it into where it's just kind of flush right there. This tool down in place to the first click. See how that uh, is just flush right there. And that part's sticking out. There's a little tab right there. Get this focused and close up for you guys. See that tab? You don't want to crush that tab because that's the locking pin. That's what everybody complains about. That is getting crimped and then this doesn't lock in the little plastic connector. So what you do is you push this in until it's flush on this side or just below flush and that kind of lines that up you can even push it till it stops right there so this wire is probably a little on the heavy side of the gauging but actually that's going to fit pretty nicely I'm just going to crimp it down until it stops there you go you have a nice crimped connector that little locking tab did not get smashed the wire is in there just right like I said, this is kind of a little heavier gauge wire. It's probably like 18 or 20. These are, you know, made for that size and smaller. 20 gauge. So this is 20 gauge cable. It fit in there nicely. Now, a lot of my wiring is actually smaller gauge than that, but look at that. Nothing wrong with that crimp connection. there you have it with that and these are some of the first connections I made it came out fine uh, so yeah here are the uh, actual crimpers um, the 28 BMA uh, for 0.1 to 0.5 millimeter um, with the gauge wire 26 uh, down to 20 or up to 20 I guess at any rate, uh, they're adjustable. It's really cool. They've got the little uh, adjustment here you can make. Now they're ratcheting too, so if you uh, kind of have grip issues like I do sometimes, sorry about my dirty thumbs there. I've been working under the house um, on plumbing. But anyway, these are not for plumbing. These are for electrical, and they ratchet. So as you're trying to squeeze that, it'll just stay where you put it until you finish off the crimp, and then they open up again. Uh, they're very sturdy uh, looking and they feel very sturdy they've got some good weight to them so I like them uh, pretty good and then of course it comes with all these accessories which there's a lot of different uh, oh header pins and um, I could make up other names for stuff but I'd probably be wrong and somebody would have to correct me and um, I'm probably wrong on header pins anyway uh, I know that I can make wires f out of those uh, for things like my uh, 3d printer and um, and that's good that's fun for me that saves me time and uh, and um, it's a lot cleaner looking than twisting wires together and wrapping a bunch of electrical paper on them so I like it I'm excited to have it and uh, I think it's a good set I would recommend it